for the way to touch you with today we're gonna be playing pokemon quest one more day fam one more day i believe that's the title of the live stream today too if i'm not mistaken one more day until the 24 hour live stream starting i mean tomorrow is that day that i'm talking about i'm gonna have to wake up really early on monday and i don't i don't know i've been thinking all day on whether that computer is even going to show up so it better show up that's all i can say but anyways, we're about to have some fun, play some Pokemans, go ahead and check out what's cooking. Uh, I believe there's a 150, yeah, Bulbasaur flag is what I'm going to be picking up next. Um, anything else going on with the store? Nope, nothing that I can see. Let's go ahead and get out of there. Alright, decorations, I believe everything's up and good to go, yep. Uh, let's go ahead and what's up sphere mation. Thank you very much for tuning in. How's it going? Uh, I gotta remind myself to back up at the end of stream because I did not to do that yesterday um, Quests what do we got cooking? I mean, I know we got the expeditions which are the main quest lines. All right looking good and Oh, yeah, I couldn't cook last time that was the issue for some reason first time ever playing this game I actually cannot cook anymore. I've ran out of uh, cooking reagents also, we do got a daily Pokemon to go ahead and grab to the team, but so far, team is at 77.95. Not bad. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, scan through the, uh, the base, team base here. And let's go ahead and check out, ooh, we got a Machop. I don't think I've had one of those before. Level 38, and it knows bulk up. The user tenses its muscles to bulk up its body, raising the damage it deals for a while that also reduces the damage the user takes which is OP because if you can team this up I'm a champ with an Alakazam and a golem that is the triple combo threat that everybody wants in this game and it knows submission oh my gosh this could be really good um a chop why why are you only level 38 that, that's the only question I got about you right now Really questionable on that one. I'm really sad about it, to be honest. Oh, Sphere Mation hitting this up with the sub. Thank you very much, Sphere. Um, yeah, I normally stream just to let you know on a computer. So I normally have a webcam. My computer is currently getting fixed. Comes back Monday, most likely. Better come Monday, otherwise I'm going to be really upset. Um, I have to go pick it up in the morning. It was supposed to come Friday. Issues. I will let you guys know about that later on when we uh once we've done the 24 hour live stream um but yeah i mean playing on my mobile device i haven't missed a live stream day in all of 2018 and i have yet to miss an upload as well in 2018 so i'm gonna keep the streak going so if i have to live stream on my phone i'm gonna live stream on my phone all right so get a pro we got a problem with that machop why is it only level 38 i'm not gonna i'm not gonna keep it I'm not keeping the Machop. It's only level 38. Let's see if I can use it for training, though. Uh, see how much I am going to get from it, even though all my Pokemon are higher level. Uh, so the fight is going to get you to 41. You get 16% off of that. You get 7%. Keeps you at 42. 44. Pretty decent increase in 16%. And I believe you are 16 as well. Alright, so. I'm going to keep the Machop for now. We'll figure out what we're going to do with it. But, uh, time to get into some expeditions, see what we can do here. Uh, that expedition is a no-no. 10-3, I don't, oh my gosh, this is going to be difficult. I don't know, I don't know what we want to start with. Let's start with 10-5, I mean 7-5, 10-5. Okay, relax, bro. Let's start off with 7-5, see what we can do from here. Go ahead and put my phone down so I can push and smash my buttons. Alright, withdraw, light screen up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and start off with the bubble, start off with the side beam, and have Flareon just uh, auto attack for now. Kind of forget who, uh, who the Tingo was for this again. I always forget who the bosses are. Go ahead and withdraw. I 
Really, Ferion? Really? What's going on over here? Finish him off, please. Flareon all day, every day was my starter. I was hyped. Especially now that it knows one of the two moves that I needed to know. I gotta get rid of takedown for another fiery, decent move. Especially one that gives me a buff. Oh my gosh, it has taken some damage from the Oddish today. Wow, that was only the first wave. Okay, this is not going well at all. Don't think we're going to clear this one anyways. I just want to see how close we are to completing it. See how much more I have to do leveling up wise. Oh, these glooms are always a nightmare. Uh, yeah, Flareon, you are just not having a good day, are you? Power up with the, the withdrawal. My freaking cloister got nerfed a couple days ago. Not happy about that. Didn't know they do nerfs in this game. It was silent nerf, but it was definitely deadly. Flareon, no, you were Gandhi. Oh, you actually quit though too. That was that was a great finish for you. Sylveon is my favorite Pokemon in the game. I liked Flareon in this one uh, because it was like the only one of the three that was actually decently good. Vaporeon has its highest stat is defense. And I'm like, why do you want a tanking Vaporeon? Give me the same stats as Flareon and I might take the Vaporeon over the Flareon. But yeah, I had to take the uh, Flareon. <laughs> I wish there was Sylveon in this game, but sadly only Gen 1. Alright, so we're about to head on over to the boss. Uh, let's, uh, I mean, at least I got this far, but I know I can get this far. That's the thing. I gotta get rid of the Yadish as quickly as possible. Start off with a noise. Flamethrower. Alright, there's one of them down. Let's see if we can get the other one down while we're at it. Aha, we moved them. That is not good. Uh, please stay alive, and now hit it, hit it, hit it. Okay, I can't use that. Let's go ahead and light screen then. I'm definitely going to be using Psybeam. Oh, that's the thing. It's toxic. God damn, piss off. This is... I can get through this level as long as freaking Cloyster doesn't get toxic. And it gets poisoned every single time. Run away, guys. Cloyster, please. Stop getting poisoned, bro. Like, no lie. What's up, Nash? Oh, tuning in again, my boy. Thank you very much for tuning in, as always. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an abs. I'm a, I'm a destroyer. Thank you, Cloyster. Bring that thing over here. <laughs> that actually worked out. I was able to keep Flareon up for quite some time off that. Run away, Cloyster. Your boy's up, too. I deal, like, no damage, but... But Flareon was able to get a nice burn off of that. Flareon, can you recap on your burn, please? Alakazam, stay away. You're the only one that deals damage. Cloyster is just a tank, bro. Get him! No! Flareon, what? Come on. Even though it is more difficult than the one we just did by 2 by 800 points, and my team rating's only at 77.95. I think we might be able to deal some damage here, though. We might get close. We'll figure it out. These are the two that I'm working on. Expedition 7 and 9. 8 and 10, they're... 8's on a boss. So I'm waiting on that. And then 10 is just a little bit too much. Even though I completed 10 yesterday, so the next one might be easier. I have yet to test the next one. What sucks about this is uh, a lot of ground types, so your boy Flareon just takes huge owls here. But I'm, all, I'm, I'm starting to get open into switching out my Pokemon, so I'm always open to any of the new guys that want to join the crew. 
I believe is this this isn't the one with uh whatchamacallit, is it? It's not the one with Machamp, I hope not. I think it is though. Yeah, I think this is the one with Machamp, so that's not gonna be good. Get a little bit of a psychic move right there. Alright, you gotta flame off. Get a withdraw my G. Hit him with a sigh. He hit you pretty damn hard, Alex Sam. What are you gonna do about that? Sweet, not bad. Uh, one more stage to go. I actually run away, guys, real quick. I need to re pop uh, withdraw in the light screen. Perfect timing. And here we go. Is it a ghost type? Holy crap. Ghosts. And, oh, this, no, this might be, what's up, Beaming Empire? How's it going? This might be the, uh, the Magneton. I think this is the Magneton. I mean, that's good for me, but sadly, Flan just takes so much damage beforehand. Yes, okay, so we're getting into the boss. The quicker we get into the boss, the better. I'm spamming withdraw and light screen until we get there, just so the defensive uh, buffs can stay up. I mean, everything's going pretty well so far, except Flareon. And Alakazam has taken a little bit of damage. Wow, that was a long travel. But uh, we finally made it. Do I start off with... Yes, let's go. Start off with it. Reapply defensives. Just start off. Just get a burn off if you can. All right, here we go. Get the knocks. What are you doing, Cloyster? What the fuck are you doing? I'm not gonna lie, Cloyster. What are you? What, what are you doing? Oh no, he's dirty. This Magneton dirty ads though, boys. Oh no, he's going for the corners. No, oh, he loves corners, bro. That's all I can. He just loves freaking corners. Keep getting knockbacks. That's all I can ask for, guys. I need to get a you know what off. Do I use it? Yep. Let's go. That was perfect timing. I need to get a light screen off. I got one burnt at the moment. Where are you positioned at? Yep, finish that Magnemite for me, thank you. Uh, run away real quick. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Please. Alakazam, I'm not lying. Alright, we need to withdraw. We need to withdraw. We need to withdraw. You need to run away, and you need to light screen real quick. Get a quick cooldown, bubble, and then side beam. If I can get that Magnemite out of the way, we... We have we have possibilities. We have possibilities. Sadly, one of my Pokemon is paralyzed. It's now not paralyzed. Good. All right, perfect. Let's see if we can get this off. Stay there, because I'm I'm spamming defensives now. So Flareon can use that while I spam defensives. Actually, run away real quick. Hit him with a nice sigh. Get him back with a flamethrower. Run away because I'm gonna need you to withdraw. Uh, you do, no, withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. Run away. Try to stall. Stop running into the walls, my G. Bubble. Bubble. Or run away. Do something. Bubble or run away. What do you, what do you, what do you want? I'm not lying. What do you, what do you want to do? Stop running into the damn walls. Your IQ's like a two right now. What are you doing? You don't deal any damage. Oh, thank you. Flamethrower from the behind. We actually completed it. Oh my gosh, it has been... Oh, and we got a freaking blue, freaking juicy gem right now. Alakazam now level 41. So, for those of you tuning in, as you can see, Cloyster's attack is bare, bare minimal. It's really... It doesn't do any damage. All it is there for is to stay alive. Absolutely an OP defensive if you do not have Golem. So, that's all I can say. I used to use Licky Tongue because Licky Tongue was a great tank. Got rid of Licky Tongue, powered up my Cloyster. Cloyster's an absolute boss. Shoulder was a boss, let's put it that way. Healing from KO. 
and HP upon recovery. That sturdy stone. Oh, please be an increase. It's actually good. 13,500. Interesting. I was absolutely going insane. My cloister loves to go into corners and run into corners, so I can't dodge attacks. Don't ask me why. This cloister's got the IQ of, like, a Caterpie. I don't even know. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. Cloister's got all the good gems health-wise, so is it an increase? I don't think it is, though. Uh -huh. Why? When you get... Uh, you know what? Flareon, take this. It's a downgrade, but it is also an increase stats-wise. Take any of the 302s. It don't bother me. Recycle that one. It's a slight upgrade. It's a downgrade level-wise. It's an upgrade stats-wise. I will take it. Alright, can I cook now, please? I mean, did I please tell me I got some cooking regions. I got a lot from that one. <laughs> we have just small potato. Alright, silver. Oh, yes. When you can cook. How many? Five. Perfect. We'll, we would have five left. So I might be able to get one good Pokemon today. Alright, let's keep going. You need to keep my chop for the time being. Let's see what other expeditions I can do. So 7-5 is currently a stall. 9-5 uh, I have yet to do. I have yet to... Oh no, I've done the boss attempt as well. It's actually not that bad. Uh, 12,900 boss on Expedition 8. It's a Needle King and a Needle Queen. If I can get the Queen out, the King's actually not that bad. 7-5, um, I believe, is the closest. I'm going to give 10-3 an attempt. I have yet to do it. And then give the new nine Expedition 9 an attempt. I like to attempt things and see how far I need to, to, uh, to train my Pokemon up. Even though I know I'm not going to beat it, or I shouldn't. I mean, I have a team rating of 7,700, and these are like 9,000 to 13,000. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I should not be anywhere near these, but I'm capable of pulling my own weight through these things. So, I'll figure it out. It's a lot of goldines. Whoa, 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 what the hell was that? Was that a Squirtle? Is that a square Squirtle? No, that's a Dratini! Oh my gosh! We see Dratinis in this game right now. Well, this is Expedition Time. It's almost the last one. So we gotta see him eventually. Don't tell me we're gonna see a Dragonite pretty soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my brains if we see a Dragonite. I'll have no chance against that thing. Cook me up some nice sush. Good job, Flareon. You're cooking me the sush of the day. Now you're going to have to flamethrower hard over here, fam. Alright, we protected. Oh my gosh, so many gold beans, though. Uh, yeah, just flamethrower. I'm going to withdraw on light screen, just protect the team. Flareon's doing all the work. Oh my gosh, more of them. If you can pull off another flamethrower, I mean, they're just all in, in range right now. They're all getting burned. They're all getting destroyed. Alright, that's uh, stage three is now coming in. Another set. Oh, no. Cedras. Oh, these things are a disaster. This was the last expedition in tens. Oh, my gosh. Florian, I'm sorry. I mean, Cloyster just loves to stay in the back, so. Come a little bit closer, Cedra. I'm not gonna lie. You got hit a little bit. New! No. Flareon! Why, why are you taking L's? You gotta be able to bounce back. Finish that one for me. Finish off the Cedra boy. Oh, whoa! Alright, ran away for a little bit. Oh, no, you ran right into it. What are you doing? Told you, Cedrus are disasters.
Alright, gotta withdraw. Gotta cook me up some fish. Withdraw. Keep cooking me up the fish, fam. I don't like this defense, Negator. Stop negating my team's defense. Thank you. Alright, let's go ahead. Yeah, we got a lot of issues going in. They're getting into this injured. I mean, Flareon's positioning on that flamethrower is absolutely amazing. So, we're getting through this as good as possible. Um, we got a problem here. The cooldowns on this is just really bad. Alright, so, boss. Oh no, more Goldines. Interesting. What are we going to face off against? What boss is in it? What boss is this level? Oh, my Alakazam and Flareon are about to die. So, the problem is, I can't bring them back. Get a burn off so uh, Cloyster can kind of deal with this mess. Nope, okay. Run away. Yep, here we go. Back to the corners. Cloyster's favorite thing to do. Yeah, the corners. I know, my bro. I know. I love corners, too. But uh, that's called being sarcastic. Yep, here we go. Corners. Lovely. Just bubble, bro. Just, just kill things if you can. Run away. Run that way. Run the way that you are facing. Uh, we're gonna have to withdraw next. Let's get off a of light screen. Actually, nope. Pointless. Pointless to light screen. Withdraw is not pointless, though. What's up with these? What am I, what am I about to face off against? That's what I want to know, because this boss cannot be difficult. Yeah, I thought so. It's a freaking seeking. Just pissed off that we just destroyed this whole colony. Well, that's one down. Oh, you, I need I need my cloister out of this mess. Ooh, yes, thank you for the knockbacks. Cloister, don't. Yes, thank you, Seeking, for the pushbacks. No! Why are you doing so much damage? Damn, this fucker does a lot of damage. Holy shit. Damn, what the bloody flipping hell? Yeah, this this is bad. Um, I mean, if, if Cloyster would tank, and the boy just does damage, we're good. I have to keep running away, though. Barely got that off. Oh, they both died. Oh, wow, you just chose the best wall of all times. Like, seriously, Cloyster, just run away, fam. I don't understand you sometimes, Cloy. You Now you have no withdrawal, so what are you going to do about this? About to die. If you get hit, you're dead. Yep, you're dead. Withdraw, please. Run away. Alakazam, no. Alakazam, stop getting involved. And you gotta stop going and look at look at look at look, look at the drift to the corner. The the corner drifter. The corner drift. Yeah, this level is no chance. I gotta do some leveling before I get into this one. Nope. Oh uh, yes, I guess. Never mind. XP, though, should be decent. Cloyster, are you leveling up yet? You're close. That level 45 is definitely going to help, though. So, let's get you leveled up.
Alright, so, with that being said, Expedition 10 is kind of on a stalemate. Let's try Expedition 9-5. We've gotten some levels up, so I want to try it again. Pre-buff with withdrawn light screen. Again, I'm still not. Okay, here we go. Gotta get those water type Pokemon knocked back from Flareon for a bit. Flareon's almost halfway dead. It's the water types that are killing me right now, and this is bad. At least Cloyster's got one of them on it. Let's see. Not bad. Not bad at all. Finish that one off? Nope. It was close. This expedition level is looking really bad as well. Okay, that one's done. Close to still pretty much at full health. Both attack. Good job. Run away until Flurion spawns. One more. Alright, Flurion will be up in just a bit, so let's get into this next fight before Flurion gets up. Perfect. You don't really want Flurion facing off against some right horns right now. Hey, I'm glad I said it right. And for those of you tuning in, I was playing Pokemon Go today. And you'll see the joke, the inside joke on why I said that right. Pretty soon. The, the episodes will come back soon. Why didn't you move? I asked you to move such a long time ago. There we go, thank you. You guys moved. My flare arm was kind of stuck in a flamethrower train still. Couldn't really do anything about that. Ooh, lucky. Uh, thank you for actually tanking though, Cloyster, for a bit. That was nice. Super effective against Flareon, so not too much. Ooh, this is bad. This isn't even a boss. I just need you to live. But why are you trapping yourself in the corner again? You gotta use bubble now. Water types when they don't deal any damage. Alright, cool. We got three Pokemon up. Three of them are about to die. What am I facing off against? That's the question. Again, we testing it out. We seen what we got. Jinx? Interesting. Well, thanks. Thanks for that. The, the one Pokemon. Oh, and a Cloyster. What is this bull? Man. Your super effectiveness on all my whole crew. And a dude. Wait, what? Oh, hell no. Nah. What is this? I've got no chance. I have to power super duper power. And you know what? I'm not even going to defensive anymore. Well, just die, Cloyster. You've got no chance, my G. Yeah, just 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 take the L, bro. 
It's all good though. This is Expedition 9, I believe it was. Yeah, this is Expedition 9, so I know I have zero chance of doing Expedition 9. Expedition 10, at least no I can do. Go ahead and get back into 7-5. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and do Expedition 8, the Nidal King and Nidal Queen, where I actually do have a chance. I've done one attempt, and we were pretty damn close to doing it. It's not as difficult as it may seem. How'd you miss, Cloyster? That was four, four, bubbly, four bubbly attacks, and you just missed on every single one. Oh, they just spawned right there. I was like, wait, what the hell is this? Yeah, I don't even want to use flamethrower. They're just, the auto attacks are a little bit better right now. Because they're more direct. Like, now that I have a pack, flamethrower is where to, the way to go. Boom! Stop missing, Cloyster, even though your attacks suck anyways. Run away, because you're not going to have a withdraw. There we go. Finish off that gloom. You know that's a devastating foe. When I say devastating foes, I mean it. So this is the vile poom level, and uh, all I need is Cloyster to not get poisoned, and I'm good. This gloom's just getting slaughtered by the flamethrower fam. How are you not done? Oh, it's a metapod, that's why. Defensive capabilities with Harden. James Harden, fum. Just finish it off, guys. I'm reapplying our buffs. Here we go. Vile Plume, incoming. Get rid of these oddish as quickly as possible. They're coming into the flames. Alright, run away, guys. Hit him up, hit him down, hit him all around. What are you doing? Pissing me off. Alright, so while the Oddish are gone, uh, we now need to take care of... Not the Vile Poom team. Take care of that Gloom for me, please, Flareon and my boy. Oh, why'd you get poisoned? It's the one thing I don't need you to do is get poisoned because it bypasses your defenses, bro. Damn. It's so bad. The poison's just so OP. Run away, Flareon. Flamethrower, bro. What are you doing? Cloyster pushing you away. Cloyster, run away, bro. I don't need you. De no. Not that way. This is bad. Real bad. Hit him. Run him. What? How freaking far do you reach, bro? See, the poison. I mean, he wouldn't. If it wasn't poisoned, it had full health right now. Just letting you know. If you were not poisoned, you'd be having, you'd be sitting here with full health, Cloyster. That's how freaking great the poison is. Yeah, 
You got one burn off. That's not bad. I tried to get you out. You just didn't accept it. Uh, just get... Nope, okay. Let's withdraw then. And the run away! Like, how? What, what the fuck kind of move is that, dude? Ah, <sighs> so close. So freaking close. 45, please. Oh my gosh, you're so close. Everything's close. Alright, so Expedition 9's no chance. Expedition 10 is doable. 7-5 is doable. Let's give this one a go. Otherwise, we're just going to spam the rest of our day on that vile plume because I know I can get it done. Yeah, I know. I know about the effects of poison. It's OP. Alright, Needle Queen, Needle King. I mean, if I can get you down, that'd be great. Otherwise, it's worth the attempt. Because the XP is going to be lit! But for those of you tuning in, again, always, thank you very much for tuning in to youtube.com. If you you got questions, post in the comment section or live stream chat. Be sure to answer as soon as possible. Um, check out that description box. Tons of goodie links down there. Yeah, I finished it off. I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna reapply defensives. Knit Arena! That's like one of the best flamethrowers you have ever done in your life. That was probably the best fight you've ever done in your life, Larry. I'm not gonna lie. Good job. Wave one cleared. Two more to go. And then we get the bosses. I don't know why I flamethrower. Just, just don't ask. Please start taking the moves over here. Alright, good job so far. Oh, that flamethrower. It was actually going to be good, but it turned out to be so bad. Finish. Thank you. I applied that withdrawal. Perfect timing. Wave 2 completed. Here we go with Wave 3. I think it's the Nidorinos. Nope, more Nidorinos. We apply some defensives. Oh, oh my gosh, that barely knocked that knockback though. Well, one of them decided to join in. You're dead. Run away, team. Uh, do I bubble? Yeah, bubble first. Nice eye. I, you didn't kill it. Yes, thank you. It's crazy. Why is Cloyster taking so much damage? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, is it Alakazam? Well, you're not going in to fight, I'll tell you that much. Keep running away until everybody's back. Oh no. They see you already.
They're almost back. Wait, why isn't my screen following you? What the hell? Wait, why are they? No, what is this? What is this spawn? Why did they spawn over there? This bull game. This game's bull. I did so much better last time. What happened this time? Oh my gosh, Alakazam. He can't run away. Alright, I think this is where we're going to start getting stuck and having to level up this team again. These Pokemon are slow, which is good. That's like the best thing, that these Pokemon are slow. But my Pokemon is so dead. <laughs> They're so dead. Run. Withdraw. No, withdraw. Knock him away. You've done like no damage. Oh, this is just a pointless fight. Such a pointless fight right now. Ah, but they're dead. They're all dead. <laughs> it's all dead. They were all stuck, so that was the problem there. 45, please. Thank you. Gem, please be sturdy. Oh, they're all going to be sturdy. You can already pre-see them. Oh, I'm dumb. Alright, I need to collect the sturdy stone now, too. Alright, so that was actually good. Because we did get a level up. However, Expedition 8, boss, 12,900. Nowhere near being able to complete that just yet. Expedition 9-5, 13,500. Cannot complete that just yet. Expedition 7-5 and Expedition 10-3 are doable. Um... 7-5 is the closest one to being doable, though, so let's go ahead and get this one in. Vile Plume, I'm coming back. Play this one perfectly. Let's go. You know what? Put it on auto. Let's see what auto does. Let's see how auto plays this. Otto might be able to do this, because I'm actually getting close to it. Otto might know more things than me. I guess it flamethrowers when it didn't need to, but... Please withdraw. A little bit, a little bit icky when you don't withdraw right away. I was a bit confused on that. All right, next stage. I believe it's the gloom. Yep, gloom and the metapod. The tanky AF team. That's how these guys are. Yeah, I was definitely doing a lot better than what Otto is currently doing.
Ah, oh, Kazam, come on, finish that freaking Gloom off, bro. Thank you. Same with you, Flareon. Alright, now we got the tanky Metapod left. Come on, team. Alright, Via Plume, I'm coming at you, and I'm coming at you with that auto motion. Unleash the flamethrower of justice on the whole squad. I love how the uh, the battle area kind of dissolves throughout this whole thing. Oh no. Oh no. Clary, I knew you were about to get just, just smashed right now. Alakazam just got smashed. You're about to get even more smashed. You're poison cloister, and you're not even going to withdraw at all. You're going to attack. This is... Stupid. So playing this game on auto is just like the worst thing you can do to yourself. Because at least I get vile plume to like 10%. Never playing auto ever again. Unless it's something I know my team will be able to complete. But if it's for something that I have yet to complete, auto is not the way to go. It just does not know how to play. But we did get some cooking completed, so let's go ahead and see what we got to join with the team. Need about 35 more PM tickets to go ahead and purchase that Bulbasaur flag, I believe. Gonna go ahead and uh, back up data in just a bit. Any quests getting completed soon? Okay, not bad. And are we at 50 yet? Have we hit the 50 mark? 47. Three more to go. A lot of them are evolution chains in Generation 1, which sucks. So I have to actually start evolving Pokemon and leveling them up. Oh wait, you know what? Let's go back there. Do I have any additional gems? I don't think I do, but let's just double check. No, I don't. Okay, so I do got to get another Sturdy Stone. Go ahead and hit up Base Camp real quick. And let's check out the 5 out of 5 cooking pot. Mulligan Stuella Cube, XL size, good. That's what I like to see. Not great, but good. Dojo. Interesting. A little high level, please. 66, that's so. And it knows flail and take down. Oh, growl and flail. Really bad Pokemon, but it's doable for leveling up. Add some cooking, please. Oh, I, I was like, wait, what's going on? Oh, so I can't cook. Interesting. I shall cook tomorrow, then. Let's go ahead and see this leveling up with the uh, the Pokemon. Let's get some training in, hopefully. Alright, Flareon, even though you get the lowest of the low. 15%. Alakazam, 33. Close to 33. Alright, we're going to hold off on that. See what we get tomorrow. And for those of you tuning in, I will be live in just a second. We're going to go ahead and switch live streams over to Magikarp Jump. So for those of you that tuned into this one, thank you all very much for tuning in. Catch you guys in a bit.